Welcome to Ground Zero Battles. We are out in Toronto for only the strong survive. Toronto, please make some motherfucking noise. Yeah! 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 That's what's up. I am your host, Gully TK. Make sure you check out the website, www.kingofthedot.com. I got a couple of codes with me, starting with the big homie. You already know it's bigger. I mean, I ain't got to say it twice. We about to pop up tonight with a fucking crack rock. Let's go, man. Yes, man! I got a Toronto legend in the fucking building. Introduce yourself, homie. The real D Brown Takeover Music Group is in the building. King of the Dot, you already know who the fuck That's what's up, though. Let's get this shit started, though. Battle to my right. Introduce yourself. Yo, bully block. Bangers! Woo! Woo! Team is already fucking yeah. know. Bangers! Northside, Northside, north side, Regis, all day. Bitch. In the building! <laughs> Alright, battle to my oh, left, yeah. introduce yourself. It was good, it's your boy Spook One, the Woo! Indian Guru, yeah, 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 yeah. Brown Boy All Star, the Punjabi Slate Boy, <laughs> the Prince of Pakistan. Let's get it poppin'. Let's go. What's up, 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 I ain't never scared, cause your hardest battle ever was against a set of stairs. <laughs> See, I'm classy like Fred Astaire's Broadway musicals. Looking debonair and my broad stays beautiful. And I think outside of the box, but you? It's like your brain's been trapped in a small gray cubicle. See, Bully rolls with very nice boys, whose IQs are equal to Barry White's voice. At age two, he played with his Fisher Price toys. At 22, he plays with his Fisher Price toys. <laughs> See, at 22, he plays with his Fisher Price toys. You ain't a killer, you ain't lifting ratchets. The only thing you killing is the English language. He thinks of living lavish with a chicken sandwich. At night, he can't sleep because he breaks every friggin' mattress. <laughs> now, I am East Asian. That's crystal clear to see. But your ethnicity is a mystery to me. What happened to your face is tragic. You look like an Asian, Spanish, native faggot. <laughs> I bet you got bullied by the kids in school. I bet you got ridiculed and felt really minuscule. The person that you turn into your battles, it isn't you. You the type of dude to wear a t-shirt in a swimming pool. <laughs> See, you act like a G-star, but you're fat with a weak heart, and your verbal skills are that, of a retard, so I take you very loosely. You could barely move me. You ain't a bully. You're just a grown kid, Gary Busey. That's what's up. That's time. What's up? Grand one is on the homie bully. Let's go. Yo, He calls himself Spook. He tries to act mean in a way. Tell me what you gonna do when the real G's in your face. Don't try to act like you're hard. I'll put this geek in his place. You should take the spook in your name and replace the P with an H. Because you're shook. <laughs> Coming from a soft block and spinning tough is not hard to do. You just mad because you can't get near me. Even Step Easy has harder gun bars than you. I'm done with this game. Every time you spit up bars, disrespect to the street and everyone on the range. You wanna know why man behind bars be going fucking insane? Cause they've been in jail longer than your government name. Like for what? Like for what? You are not trying. Your gun? It is not fine. You threaten man with a Jeep Cherokee, homie. You are not violent. And it's realistic, you told him to aim the tool when you are not riding. And again, Stell, you told him to get the pumpy from the homie nose. Stop lying! But he reps a real city. Nah, that's just where this pony be fucking staying in. Montreal already has too many in rappers, so it's safe to say you ain't making it. 
I don't give a fuck if this Pacquiao a loyal patriot. I don't give a fuck what you say you did. How you all team from Montreal and ain't none of y'all Canadians? <laughs> but fuck you, Packies. All you goofs are like. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yo. All you goofs are nothing, and all your goons are buckets. I would eat your food, but your food's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> And you wonder why no one bumps your tracks. That's because everybody hates this goof. How does this Packy have 20 brothers and sisters, but yet no one can relate to you? I see the truth. This block bang is about to kill you in 80 ways. The day I let a Packy come to the dot and clown me, this ain't the day. You suck at rapping, the day I let Spook get views up the 80K, is the same day Caliente has his guap up and you don't sound exactly like HFK. Round two is on the homie Spook one, let's go. Right, yo. <laughs> Bully loves Eminem. <laughs> I nah. Do. I, do. I said Bully loves M&M's and chocolate peppermints. Those tits look like he's pumped with lots of estrogen. And the way you speak, you should be locked up in a mental bin. I can't decipher if you're Japanese or Mexican. If you were Japanese, you'd be sumo wrestling. You're probably Spanish since you're always lazy and rested. You'll never win a race and your race is in question. You want to lose weight? Let me make a suggestion. Don't make the food on your plate an obsession. When there's no bacon, you should see his facial expression. He looks like a man being raped by his brethren. You've always been fat. You need to take a direction that's way more physical, that's painful and stressing. At this rate, your death will be morbid. You'll probably be hoisted out your bed with a forklift. <laughs> now, how did your head get so enormous? I can't understand how your neck can support it. <laughs> you see, I be trying to live big with them jets and them Porsches. You trying to live big till your legs will be broken. You see, I am much fresher. This motherfucker's more than sloppy. His porta potty swag is foul like eating pork salami. Oh! You see his porta potty swag? It's foul like eating pork salami. I'll load the shoddy, watch him fold his body like it's origami. Then I'll throw him in the motherfucking shredder like a Rokusaki. Turtles. It's time. Get him. Round two is on bully. Yo. She came here for a win. Hey, yo, hold it down. Let's go. She came here for a win. But well, you know I ain't having that. You debuted against some guy named Pete. And this for that, it should happen, Smack. You never had nothing to say. At the end of the day, you always be an average cat. There's a thousand ways to die, Spook. Why you choose battle rap? Cause Spook fretting, he ain't never blasts a rocket. He always walks through Montreal and Mads coming to tap his pockets. He never a fight. Cause he knows a bully will a man to taught him. Cause you're too light. When Spook fight, he got that baby hook. Like Magic Johnson. Ooh. Find some real shit, you're a real snitch, and I don't want no problems here. If you want to do shit with your homies, you leave them hanging. All in fear, because if you got locked down and had to face all them years, you'll see this rapper talk faster than an auctioneer. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> so. This homie, this homie. Boy's buying it. Spook just comes through the hood. He gets his coke and his cuts. You don't bust guns, you got cut, cause even Lopeshi knows that you suck. You know he's doing something, Spook, and we know that it's drugs. You get so fucked up, you make Lush One look sober as fuck. <laughs> cause you're so shit, you probably try to snort piff. The way you keep on doing more E, which is why you pull fish. They ask me, can I stop the gun bars? The answer is no, bitch. He's gonna pull him body. Turn him into Poe Rich. <laughs> Unless you want to have your head twirled. If you were in a bin, they slap you to your death like you were Nat Select's girl. Oh, this guy's a fake. So stop this. You're not balling this because you cry for days. Watch this guy just skate. It's why I try to ice his team. 
We can do this right now. I'll wipe them clean or we can take this to the hood. You lose your life for free. If I catch you slipping, you're going missing like Spike TV. <laughs> Check it out. I said, Bully is a sexy beast. If you're into sweaty feet, or if you have a fetish for dirty beds with messy sheets, we'd give him self esteem, tell this fat boy swim. If we praise you, it wouldn't make this fat boy slim. If you place your bets on Bully, you're gonna face regrets. I hope you're ready when you have to pay your debts. I hope you're ready when you have to pay your debts. You'll never... Okay, hold up. If you place your bets on bully, you're gonna face regrets. I hope you're ready when you have to pay your debts. I paint a, I paint a vivid picture like spatial depth. You got your head in the moon like a space cadet. When they hunt for Sasquatch, I bet they trace your steps. Your breasts are so big, I bet they strain your chest. You wouldn't get laid even if you paid for sex. If intelligence was measured in weight, you'd ace the test. See, this man got this, the amount of food he eats could feed a whole nation. I'ma clap him like a standing ovation. His failed training plan is due to having no patience. And he'd have his soul taken for some ham and smoked bacon. So if I say it, I'll eat his food, it's a figure of speech. If he says he'll eat my food, it's literally. So what good's a diet plan if you don't stick to it? What's a window of opportunity if you don't fit through it? <laughs> right? What's a window of opportunity if you can't fit through it? See, why do you rap? Do you like being a laughing stock? <laughs> you like being a laughing stock. I know that things in life are hard for you to do, like matching socks. You need to stop trying to learn the streets and packing blocks and learn how normal people speak so you can actually talk. See, I hate everything that this motherfucker stands for. I know the crowd got my back like a Jansport. You need to stop hating and appreciate the fans more or get evicted out the motherfucking building. I'm the landlord. What's up, bro? Round three, it's on bully, let's go. Can I say go out bangers? Black, 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 you don't wanna try us, my mind's fucked. Like I pull a thing right now, you have me knifed up. That's in blaze of death, so pay respect. Cause when it comes to pressure, you crack easy like the main event. So be legit. Get Be legit. You know we them kids that'll fuck you up worse than them needles did. You start bleeding quick, cause when my team equip, you'll need help more than the Beatles did. Cause you ain't got no men, let alone got no sense. You're like a cheap phone phone company. You talk but ain't got no text. He ain't wanna put money up. That shit got me so vexed, cause Spook went the double down. He ain't got no bread. Come on now. Spook what? Spook what? Nah, I think Spook chopped. No one even knows how many W's that Spook got. So don't call me a retard when you off naming yourself Spook One when I think Spook lost. So move on. Quick one and like you're all tough. When you're such a fag, I bet you work at Starbucks. I'm talking that you that. All tongue, you always have your head at the rim like a LeBron thumb. But I see you got a new bitch. But she's bald just like a dude. She's tagging you on Facebook, claiming she's loving you, but at the same time, she's probably going fuck 20 other dudes. So if you're a real man, if you're a real man, that shit will hit your skin and get under you, but I don't give a shit, you're a bitch. I'll slap your bitch right in front of you. So start acting cheese. Go grab your team until my dog starts shooting out of nowhere like the Danny Green. Don't oh, oh, ask me like this. At least you know I spray mine. I do the math this round. Why have you sleeping on the floor like your daylight? So stay tight, you all soft. You don't want a war dog, cause when I shoot, I leave you open like a ball hog. You all soft. This block bang is about to start a winning streak. You a straight trash from way back. Your fake ass gotta be kidding me. We don't fake this shit, food. You don't wanna get real with me. We face traps or face facts. I get laid back like a delivery. <laughs> Uh, 
King of the Dot Grand Prix round three. Very first battle of the night was uh, Bule. Spook one. Apologies for not remembering Spook one off the jump because I think that uh, he was dominated the, all three rounds. I think it was unanimous. Uh, I myself had Bule after two rounds. I tore up my Spook one card because there was nothing he could do to, to, to bring it back. Spook one is my boy. He makes some very good tunes. But tonight, that laid back flow that you heard about in the closer was just not enough for the energy and the amount of bars. Bule had two battles to one, in my opinion. Um, Pretty much, Spook was very boring tonight. I like him, but he's very boring tonight. Bully, this is probably the cleanest he ever spit in a long time. I didn't see him slip up as much. He bullied him. Bully, Bully, uh, he came correct tonight. Three rounds, just, you know, I, I'm happy for him because uh, I see he's trying to work hard and his delivery actually paid off tonight. So yeah, I give Bully 3-0. Yeah. Would you agree with that? 3-0? Yeah. The first round was close, but that's about it, right? Pretty much, pretty much. I was entertained by Spook at the beginning. Bully definitely, uh, he killed them all three rounds. and thought it was a good redemption battle for him. You know, he lost a couple battles in a row. I th Spook one's cool with my dude still, but I thought he was really boring and like really hella corny. He sounds like Fred the God. He sounds like Fred the Godson sometimes. Uh, honestly, yo, homeboy needs more energy. Like this is a battle. Like you know what I mean. You gotta go for the jugular. So it's like, you can't be laid back. Like this ain't your sh concert. This is a battle, and like you gotta go for the jugular. And I just felt he f he was too laid back. He, like he, like almost he didn't want it. You know what I mean. So I gave it to Bully too, man. Three rounds to nothing. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I basically agree with with uh, what everyone said. Uh, I think this is Bully's best performance. Uh, he pretty much bodied him. Like there was nothing Spook could really do. He just kept with the same flow, like the da 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 da, the fat jokes. It, yeah, it, it, it's to, good. He had to, uh, yeah, he this, to yeah, 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 yeah. He did that too, which is he, had, he, he like, almost two choked. Did that in a row. Yeah, two yeah. But I don't know, but he did good the first round, but then he just had the same style and he had a few slip ups and bully just came like hit after hit after hit, dagger, 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 so pretty much body bag. So yeah. That's all I gotta say. King of the dot, bitch! <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. What's up y'all? Welcome back to said the first battle, only the strong survive. Bully spook one Toronto, give it up for these guys, y'all. Yeah. 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 Judges came to a decision, and the winner is Bully. Bang it! Yo, come down for that album. Yo, what up? It's Spook One. Just battled Bully. This time, Spook lost. Bully had some of his best material. Um, I was choppy in some of my verses. Rolled my shit last minute, but you know, not taking anything away from Bully. He had his best performance I've ever seen in a while. So, shout out to Bully, Spook One, I'll be back. Yo, what up, it's Bully Block Bangers. This battle Spook One, got the W. On the way to the battle, I was feeling a little nervous. Spook One's one of the toughest guys I had in a while. And I didn't have as much preparation time as I usually do. I had so much stuff caught up in my regular life, so. But it came out perfectly and we had a good battle, you know, back and forth, and I didn't know who was gonna win at the end, but at least I got the W, so. Shout out to that, shout out to Spook One, crazy battle. This block bangers, north side, east side, east end. Uh, my album's coming out soon, Block Bangers featuring Bully and Dita Suspect. We're doing it together, and uh, we have everything ready. It's just lined up. We're gonna be done by the end of the summer, and we're gonna push that the whole winter, so be ready for that shit. And Spook, what's next for you, man? Um, next, I got Big Caesar. I'm battling Big Caesar in Montreal. KOTD is doing their little tour around all the different cities. So I'm battling Big Caesar. I'm definitely gonna come a lot better prepared. Um, not that I wasn't take, I wasn't trying to take bully lightly or anything. I just wasn't prepared well enough. Um, I got a couple of music videos on YouTube that you could check out with the homie Slick Jack. We're the Slum Drunk All Stars. Check out Summertime. That's our latest video we dropped. Um, our last video we dropped, Lust for Love, is out there too. Uh, we have our, our album dropping within 
a month or so, La Nuit Belle. So look out for that. Um, hit me up on Twitter at spook underscore one. That's it. Peace. <laughs>